we want you to join us in ExoLab 8 this year. Teachers, hi, I'm Michael Wilkinson, the Education Director for Magnitude I.O. and the Principal Investigator on ExoLab 8. We want to find out if legumes, like this bean plant, can work with the symbiont rhizobia bacteria and nodulate their roots in space. What does that all mean? It means they can take the nitrogen from the atmosphere and turn it into the nitrogen compounds that plants use to synthesize proteins. And that's what makes all of us, us, every living thing needs it, depends upon it. So it's a really special relationship. And it's one of the main ways that we get nitrogen into the food system. Astronauts, if they're going to spend more time in space and explore deeper, have to be able to farm some of their own food. And this might be the solution. By farming legumes, we might be able to convert regolith on the moon or Mars into a soil that we could grow other plants, not just legumes, even though those provide us lots of, of vital nutrients, but things like peppers and tomatoes and other fruits and vegetables that need a lot of nitrogen to grow. With our online platform, it makes an ideal companion to the work you may be doing through any kind of distributed learning model. Students can still log on and see their plants. They can still make observations and collect data. You can engage around all kinds of discussions uh, during your, your virtual meets. You can have students performing their own experiments at home. This past year, I did that, and my students were so happy to be able to continue to do real scientific research, even though we were spread out all over the area.